What's up YouTube? This is TJ from Upper Progression. Today we're going to go over mindful eating. So this is Mindful Eating Episode 1 and I'm starting a little video series to talk about this and give you guys advice on, on mindful eating. So what is mindful eating? Mindful eating is a lot less about counting calories and doing strict regimens or different programs to get us to lose weight, burn fat, build muscle, whatever, whatever your goals are. Instead of having a super planned out, super direct plan every day what exactly you're going to do, instead you're having a little more of a awareness about your food, of what you're doing, and you kind of go more with the flow instead of having a planned regimen. This is something that I've personally been experimenting with. I've definitely seen that things like calorie counting and uh, doing a certain program definitely works as I can, I can see that and definitely it's helped me build muscle. But now I'm moving more into being just more aware and conscious and going with the flow, doing something that takes a little less stress and direct effort. So I have some notes here that I'm gonna read you guys. I love the whiteboard, but with the glare and the color, I just, we couldn't see much. And so I decided to go ahead and do it this way and just sit down, be up close and personal and talk to you guys. So today we're gonna talk about duality and food. So we need to, the goal is to get rid of duality in our views of food. So what is duality? Duality is a relationship between two different things. And so, for example, good and evil, that's one of the most common things that are there. And I'm not saying that duality is false or duality does not matter. That's not what I'm saying. Duality is a tool to see things in a certain view. But with food, we easily get to the point where we see food as good and bad. Oh, well, chicken, great for you. Cookies, awful. And we, we've gotten this habit of seeing food that way. And... As it can be a big tool, for example, trans fats, those are bad for you. Those are not good for your body. I just use duality, and that's okay, because we can use duality. But the issue is it has a negative effect on our brains after a while. So another few examples, duality, good, bad, healthy, unhealthy, we hear it all the time. I use it in my videos. I use it with my clients, and that's okay. And they... Something I wrote down here is they can get out of hand. I think it's a good way of putting it is we, we give way too much power to these labels of different foods and then it stops us from really enjoying food. For example, calorie counting. I love calorie counting. It's an amazing method. I, I do it all the time. I do it here. Well, not, maybe not all the time, but I do it here and there and it's very useful for me when I'm trying to reach certain goals. But it gets to a point where that's just more stress than it's worth and you have to remember to do it. And then before you know it, you're not enjoying your food anymore and you're staying away from every little treat that you're your wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, or whatever makes for you, and you're very strict. And this isn't always a terrible thing, but it can be a terrible thing. We, we kind of miss out on the enjoyment that we have with our food when we see it this way. We don't see it as for what it is. And what it is is energy. It's all food is here for us for a good reason. And what it really comes down to, guys, is finding a balance. That's that's what all this is about, is finding a balance. We we get too caught up with certain labels we put on things, even to other people. This is applicable to all things of life. Obviously, we're going to focus on nutrition here. So I'm a nutritionist, and that's what I'm here to teach you guys. But the point is, guys, what I'm getting here is we need to get rid of using duality too much when it's way past our advantage point, and we're using more of something that will... We're putting certain foods in a category over here, and we're putting foods in a certain category over here, and we're only eating the foods that are over here, not the foods that are over here. For example... Yesterday, I had a chocolate chip oat cookie. My wife made them for me. They were amazing. With the chocolate chips, all the sugar involved, are they the best for my body? No. But are they good for me? Yeah, they got oats. And so all these foods have different things for us that can help us out. And so what it comes down to is finding a balance. Finding a balance of using the tool of duality. For example, if I'm teaching someone that is brand new to nutrition and to weightlifting and all that, it's a lot easier for me to use good and bad healthy, unhealthy, because that is the way they'll understand it at first. But as we progress in their fitness progression, then it's going to be easier for them to understand that there's something behind the duality that we, we have here when, in, in the nutrition fitness world when we use good and bad, evil, whatever. And so what it comes down to is once we get past duality, we're coming to a balance. We're finding a balance of different things. For example, I had a chocolate chip cookie. Later, I had some fruit. I had vegetables. I had different things that are all good for my body. And so as we come to a, a bigger understanding of food and we, 
we look past all these labels that have given to different things, and we see food for what it really is. And what it really is when it comes down to it is energy for our bodies. Our bodies need to grow, our bodies need to to have muscle, to be able to live, for us to function, be able to, be able to sleep at night. And so that is the point I want to make here and I want to share with you guys is that we can look past duality. I'm not saying get rid of it completely. We do need it to to uh, share ideas and to help people understand different things. So we do need it, but we can also look past it and we can have a life full of conscious eating where we're using our basic knowledge to be be more aware of what we're eating, know what's good, better, and best. But also realize we can we can relax, have a cookie, have some ice cream every now and then. It's not it's not the worst thing for us. And it is all about finding a balance. Guys, I hope that something I said in the past six minutes is is helping guys to understand what I'm trying to the idea I'm trying to convey here that when we find a good balance of, of eating, then we're gonna be a lot more it'll be a lot more enjoyable. I think one of the things that we, at least I have seen in my my short time being a personal trained nutritionist and being a friend of many other people is yo-yo dieting. I see people who, and I'm just going to pick keto as an example. I'm not dissing keto. It can be very helpful for very specific people in, in specific times. But for example, someone who is, was on keto, I had a client that I was talking to last week that used keto and she loved it. She saw progress, but then fortunately it wasn't sustainable and she was eating all the carbs and she was getting weight again. And since there's nothing wrong with keto, but there is something wrong with yo-yo dieting, which means we're going back and forth from strict diets to eat whatever. And so when we're doing this, it causes a, our, our relationship with food is a lot different after we're doing things like that. And so instead of yo-yo dieting, guys, we can look to finding a balance starting right now. What steps do you or I need to take that will help us find our right balance? Because when it comes down to it, personal trainers, coaches, all these people can tell you all the advice they want. You can go read all the books you want and they'll all be helpful. But when it comes down to guys, you are the one that chooses what you eat every day. You are the one who's going to find something sustainable and balanced and right for you. All right. Well, I'm going to close that up. This has been Mindful Eating Episode 1. I hope this has been helpful to you guys. I really do have an appreciated love for everyone out there. I want to be able to share this message with as many people as I possibly can. So be sure to share this. Uh, be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Comments, what I can do better as a, a video creator and uh, what I can do better to help you guys understand different ideas that I like to share. I hope you guys have a splendid day. Please, again, support me in any way you can. I love all of you. Thank you. We'll see ya.